Well, good evening, everyone. It's a joy to be with you another Wednesday night as we continue our journey in the Word of Almighty God. We have been talking about um, moving at a certain pace, you know, in all the busyness of life, sometimes we, it seems like we don't slow down to experience what God is doing. Well, it's a joy to have with us on the platform again, um, Elder Anthony Smike, you're back. Welcome again. Yes, sir. Yep. Good to have you back with us. Thank and, you, Bishop. And um, Brother Ian Brown, welcome Thank on you. the platform this evening. Thank you for um, me. As men, we've been having a wonderful journey in, in this topic. Uh, yes, we, we, we started about talking about living in His present, receiving strength for the day, seek and live in God's wisdom, express gratitude, rest with and rely on God. And tonight we're going to talk about remain in conversation with God. Remain in conversation with God. So I'm excited about um, our session this evening. We encourage you this time to get your Bibles, get your notepad, and let us study the Word of the Lord to together. And at the end of the teaching session, we want to invite you to come on in into the Zoom room where, you know, we can um, have questions and answer and we can just um, sharpen each other. It, it, those of you who are on our YouTube channel or Facebook page, we want to welcome you. We encourage you to go ahead and share this with someone that they can be blessed. And Brother Brown, could you open in prayer for us this evening? Yes, Pastor. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you yes. for this opportunity, O oh God, where we can just break down your word, O oh God, and create an understanding and strengthen each other. Yes. Father, we pray as we go through, let your word settle on good ground. Father, let it touch a heart, at least one heart. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we pray, oh God, that we you would be edified and glorified as we seek your yes. wisdom and your love tonight, oh God. Yes, Lord. We pray for our community. We pray, oh God, that everything will go straight. We pray for our church. Yes, Lord. And we give you all the praise, all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, our topic for tonight is remain in conversation with, with God. God. You know, I was thinking about that um, so many times in the busyness of life. Mm. You know, there are folks we always intend to connect with. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I need to call this person. person. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, a day passes. Yes. yes. And two days. Oh, yes. And then a week goes by. Yes. And, and we just seem that we cannot connect, connect. with that person. Yeah. But, but <clears throat> it's how do we remain in conversation, conversation. with God? connecting with God on that regular basis. So let's go to the book of Psalms 16. Psalms 16 and I want to read this um, passage of scripture for you, for you tonight. I'm going to read from the New King James Version from verse 1 on down to verse 11 in Psalm 16. It says, The hope of the faithful and the Messiah victory. It said, Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are on earth, they are the excellent one, in whom all is my delight. Their soul shall be multiplied who has hastened after another God. Their drink offering of blood will I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup you maintain my lot the lines have fallen to me in places in pleasant places yes i have a good inheritance it says i will bless the lord who has given me counsel my heart also instruct me in the night season verse 8 says i have set the lord always before me because he is at my right hand i shall not be moved therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoice my flesh also rests in hope. For you will not leave my soul in shore, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the paths of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Amen. God is inviting all of us. He's inviting all of yes. us and those of you who are watching to be in continual conversation with him, ongoing conversation with him. That means night and day we can talk to Almighty God. It means that we have to um, listen to God, take counsel from God as he instructs us. 
we don't only need to go to God only when we have needs. Mm. We are to go to God because we are in relationship, relationship. with Him, a constant relationship. And uh, it means that you and I, we need to carve those times out yes. when we can have the time to spend with God. Those quiet, persistent practicing of turning all our lives over to God mm. is so important. Um, day and night, um, in that communion of God, having um, that inward surrender to Him and experience Him each day. Now, as we begin the discussion tonight, uh, and we're talking about it, remaining in conversation with God, what does that mean when you hear remaining? What for you? What, what is prayer? What does prayer mean to you, Ellis Michael? And, and, uh, prayer, as we see in the psalm here, mm. but on a personal note, it means in, in constant communication mm -hmm. or, or, or and uh, when we th think about it if we think in terms as a friend mm -hmm. somebody in whom you could call I mean, any time of the day any time and say how you doing yeah you know I was just okay thinking about this and I want to run it by you mm -hmm. that's it somebody yeah. who you know is gonna be there is gonna be for yeah. so I mean that's what prayer is I mean a one-on-one -on -one, it doesn't have to be formal. Yeah. So what image comes to your mind when you think of, of prayer? Uh, an image comes to mind uh, one of closeness, um, quietness, peace. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the image I see. <laughs> uh, um, quietness, yeah. peace. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, it's, okay, someplace um, there where we could see, I mean, the, the, the creative power of God in play yeah. and, 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 and that's the image I mean I see to yeah. of rest yeah what image comes to mind when you think of prayer well for me it's just the plain image that I think I grew up seeing is being on your knees <laughs> before God you know <laughs> that's the image I mean before today but uh, you know if if, if, if we were being honest yeah. that's the image I have in mind of someone on their knees uh, you know castrate before God you know speaking to god in yeah. you know at what maybe before you go to bed kind of thing you know <laughs> when you wake up in the morning yeah. uh, and you know on sundays so yeah. you know. well that's for me that's that's the image i do have when yeah. i think of prayer yeah. it's, it's i'm all, just being honest it's, it's kneeling and that's, <laughs> that's the image that yeah. comes to mind yeah. um but we know in in remaining in constant conversation with god we cannot be on our knees that's correct it's not <laughs> all, the, yeah. all the time that, no. but but i love what um ellis michael also said in that quiet place so yep. what uh, is that kneeling that sitting quietly mm -hmm. before god mm -hmm. You know, uh, and and even just walking, but finding that time that so yeah. it, it means. And when you think of on your needs, is a posture of surrender, yeah. posture of yeah. of of reverence, of reverence yeah. And, yeah. and humility. Yes. But it also shows one of stopping. Yes. You yeah. know, of all the busyness that that pulling away, That's right. even just for thirty seconds, yeah. just stop and just you know honoring God in in terms of how we connect with him as we said many of us will live um, busy lives and when we think of the posture we think of when it's um, in that quiet place sitting quietly in remaining conversation with god and we want to do that throughout the course of the day it's something we want to be able to do not just um, right. as you said um, not just in the morning not just right. in at, yeah, night, at night but we are in constant, constant. Um, communication with him what i'm thinking of Pray ought not be not ought not to be hurried. <laughs> no, no. Well, talk about it, Bram, because <laughs> prayer ought not to be hurried. Well, but we live in a time, time. now where yeah. where you know, uh, my goodness, we you know, so many demands on our lives. You know, we we want to we we want to get that prayer quickly and get that's, out. That's that's correct. And and when I was reading this, like I said, the image I had is the image I had. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Yeah, but yeah. the reality is from reading uh -huh. Psalm 16 yeah. and, and, and reading the different translation, mm. what comes to my mind is when you first meet someone mm -hmm. for the very first time, you find them interesting. Yeah. Let's say, mm -hmm. you know how that conversation is sweet. You want to sleep, yeah. slip them like a nice text. You know, how, you know mm -hmm. uh, how you doing or I'm thinking about you or whatever throughout the day. Mm -hmm. You can't wait for it to finish work. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I, like I give you my own example. Like, right. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. When I first met my wife, mm -hmm. I thought, you know, I even made the comment, you probably heard, that I said, you know, she lived, I was in, I lived in Brampton, Brampton she, and I said she lived behind God back, but yet, when I met her, yeah. you, that wasn't far for you anymore. That wasn't far anymore. <laughs> It wasn't far anymore, so you know yeah, you, no you distance, eh? it, yeah. it, all of a sudden, yeah, it's it's right next door. That's right. Ex exactly. <laughs> you know, so you find that you you when you when you just meet, you find ways to communicate. I think yeah. that's the intimacy that God wants. He wants yeah. us to, you know, reach out to Him every now and again throughout yeah. the day. Don't leave it as you said, just sort of going to bed or waking yeah. up or church on Sunday. So that's right. That's, that's right. what. I, yeah. I kind of translate it for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 Bishop, you rightly say you cannot hurry God. And interestingly, that's exactly what I write here. Yeah, you cannot hurry God. God, that's yeah. right. Because then, I mean, you know, we live in, in a culture of multitasking yeah. and, mm -hmm. and and do all things mm -hmm. all over. And and and, and, and we pride ourselves in being able to multitask. We pride ourselves <laughs> as, as much as we can. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, yeah. really. That means you know, you know we are very you know I say okay, resourceful, mm -hmm. but we cannot. Um, and when the time comes for us to be in communication mm -hmm. or in the presence of God, I was thinking in terms of praying continuously yeah. all through the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does we? I mean, how does I um, 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 okay, measure my effectiveness mm -hmm. now? Because then if I should be in continual praying, because if I'm at work, I can't be kneeling at my desk and right, pray. Right. Right. But that doesn't mean I can't pray. pray. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's right. So, so, so then now I have to um, fit that in yeah. throughout yeah. the day, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and, and whilst I do that, I have to give God my undivided yeah. uh, Attention. Focus. Yeah, focus. <laughs> of course, and yeah. attention. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's when we read Psalms um, 16, one of the, 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 that Psalm really speaks about keeping the soul refreshed. Yeah. Refresh. That could be another yeah. title we That's could right. give it. Exactly. Keeping the soul refreshed because it's where we are in constant communion with God. In other words, right. that um, we are plugged in mm -hmm. to the source. Mm -hmm. so, so at any given moment, we can we can connect that's right uh, you know any given moment we we can we can tap into god and experience him do 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 you think we need to change maybe our perception or interpretation of the definition of or or of prayer in terms of i mean because maybe both maybe you need there's going to be times you need to be on your knees yeah but as elder said sometimes even if sitting at your desk or I mean, according to this example, someone was serving f uh, meal or a meal in, yeah. in a soup kitchen or yeah. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were still in communication or, or, or commune with God. God that's right. So do you think there is a shift that needs to, so we can be <laughs> like that? No, I think, well, first thing, the mindset. Yeah. Mindset. As we talk about, prayer cannot be hurried, right? That's right. If all of our prayer is always hurried. hurried. Which is the ones on our knees. <laughs> no. But, but some, no well, some, well, that's true. Yeah. Not for everyone. Yeah. Not for every situation, Correct. right? Yeah. So it's where we have to recognize that we need to carve time out to spend with God. Yes. Now, understand that yeah, there are times where where you, you're you probably in a rush, right? Okay. right. So you you want to do the religious thing. You yes. Know? yes. You know, all of us have yeah, that. Yeah. that, 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 that yeah. We got to check the box. Yeah. Yeah. We pray in the morning. We pray before we go to bed at night. That's right. We're checking the boxes. <laughs> but there, but for There's us, prayer has, exactly. yeah. prayer has to be a time where, you know, we have to carve that time okay. out to yeah. commune with God on a regular basis. And, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it, it, it has, yes, it could be horrid. But that doesn't mean that it has to be horrid in that sense. Yeah. Because then there's nothing wrong. Just like what, like I mean, I said to you, listen to me. I, mean, I was talking to my friend, and I said, listen to me. I mean, okay, I have to run. Yeah. Okay, I get back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. And and, and then in three, yeah. four hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's a conversation. Yeah. So then, I mean, maybe, maybe this might be new. So you might be praying, mm -hmm. and then oh, let's say you didn't finish. That conversation yeah. with God, you yeah. could pick it up again. Pick it up again. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and then that's what I mean. Look, when I read the Psalms, okay, sixteen, mm. that's his approach. I'm saying, wow. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. He pick it, it back up again. Pick it up that's again. Right. Continue, continue because it's an ongoing conversation. It's a conversation. Yeah. yeah. And, and God is that patient. God yeah. is that awesome that He would wait for you to come back to that yes. conversation. Yeah. That that's the image. I can just see Him, you know, sitting, you know 
doing something but waiting for you patiently yeah. to come back into that conversation which yeah. is important to him now, the, the psalmist um, um, described God in some ways in certain ways here um, in verses 1 mm -hmm. he said um, in you I put my trust mm -hmm. in verses 2 he said you are my Lord then he said my goodness is nothing apart from you you go down in verse 5, he said, You are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. Then he said, You maintain my lot. You go down in verse 8, he said, He is at my right hand, mm -hmm. and I shall not be moved. In verses 10, he said, You will not leave my soul in shoal. Even, the writer saying, Even after death, God will not abandon him. Yeah. Right? You know, um, and the word shoal is simply mean in the grave. In the grave. Right? And this is a prophetic psalm um, pointing to our Savior Jesus That's Christ. Jesus right. Christ, yes. Right? Verse 11 said, You will show me the path of life. In, and they're going to say, In your presence is fullness of joy. And they say, At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Okay. So look at how you're describing um, God in his life. Just think of all the description because. That's what it means when we're in relationship with God That's and right. we, we remain in communion with God. Yeah. We experience God in different ways. Different, yeah. Yes. Um, I'm sure those of you who are watching tonight, you may, you, some of you may say, you know what, I experience him as a loving father. Yeah. I experience him as a provider, a redeemer, a healer, mm -hmm. you know, a deliverer. And, and for, for whatever you experience him at, it means that, you know what, he showed up. That yep. communion with him, he showed up where he can and show himself strong on your behalf. And God wants you and I, my friend, to be in that communion with him. Wherever you are tonight, know that God is approachable. He's approachable. You can approach him. You can have that experience with him. Well, and, and, and for me, it, uh, it's, the word that comes to mind for me is confidence. Yeah. The confidence that he had. That no matter where he is, yeah. no matter what he's doing, God is not yeah. uh, leaving him. God is there with Different. him. Yeah. And I, I think we we all, uh, me, because to me that is some super confidence. It's not just mm. regular confidence, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean that is that is some deep confidence to know that. You don't even have to think about it. That's right. But you That's know, right. you, you don't even have to look over your right shoulder. You know who's there. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know? No. As we read the psalm, you know, um, we can see, even as we just list up all the things of who mm -hmm. God is there, for sure it can help us in our own lives as to how we see God. Yes. And how we approach Him. Definitely. Mm -hmm. He said, you are my Lord. That's the yeah. first one. You are yeah. my Lord. Yeah. I think it was Sarah that called Abraham, okay, my Lord. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, when you look at that word, that is a title okay bishop and that, like if you like in the british circuit system okay many of the noble men that's yes, right mm. they call them lord, lord. this yeah. lord that yeah. lord that yeah. just um just just okay bestowing on that person some nobleness yes. right. some man of high value that's right, right. Yep. That's right. of high esteem yes. Yes. and that's what the psalm is saying yeah. you are my yeah. lord mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. respect no and honor yes. yeah yeah and when you when we see him as as that there is a, 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 an awe, an awe, mm -hmm. a reverence yeah, given yeah, to God. Yes, right. You yes. know, so as we started about the posture of prayer and posture. what prayer is, yeah. and when we begin to see Him as Lord, we, it means that we there's a submission of our life to Him. That's correct. Definitely. That's you know correct. how Definitely. we we conduct ourselves with Him. So it's seeing God, and when we see God a certain way, it makes a difference in our lives. That's correct. When we see God as all the psalmists see him. Big and difference. God really wants us to begin to see him, you know, even as all the description the psalmists yeah. make here for us tonight. That he's our Lord. Our, um, he said, my goodness is nothing apart from you. So there's nothing in us that is apart from God, he's saying here. You are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. He said, he, he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. That's right. He said, for you will not leave my soul in Sheol or the grave. He said, you will show me the path of life. Your presence is fullness of joy. Your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I mean, I mean, he's just basking. He oh, just, yes. he, he just, he just pouring he, he's out. pouring out <laughs> here yes. on, on what yeah. that relationship with the Lord oh, yes. is all about. 
it tells us that God desires us to meet with him in conversation. Yes, That's right. you are my portion yeah. of my inheritance and my cup. Yeah. And when I read that, I said, um, portion mm -hmm. is my inheritance and yeah. is my cup. Cup speaker for a provision yes. and yeah. all of these of resources. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, sometimes if we're not careful as, as, I mean, as Christians, we tend to look to, to the world system mm -hmm. for our resources, yeah. our happiness and all that. But mm -hmm. the psalmist here plays everything on the Lord. Yeah. The Lord, yeah. you, if you don't do this, then nobody is going to do That's it. Right. That's, right. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> and that, it is marvelous when he, he's, how oh, he's describing here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, my goodness, in other words, the, my, the character in which I live. Yes. Yeah. It comes from, from you. you. God it, makes you a better man, brother. That's correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Without, without, it doesn't matter how much, how good I am. Mm. I am only good because of, of God, God of in God. my life, in your, yeah. not yeah. outside of my that's life. That's right. That's right. He's he's a change maker. He changed. Praise people. God. Exactly. Hallelujah. We just, we just have to keep trusting. <laughs> he yeah. changed. I, I mean, I don't know, friends. I don't know where he have brought you from, but we all have a testimony. Of where God has brought us from Absolutely. and through the the, the 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 practice of prayer he is making a difference the saints of old used to say prayer changes things, things so you got to believe that tonight yeah, that's right uh, it, our goodness it's not simply because of our name who we are connected with it is because of God uh -huh. as Elder Wright um, said our inheritance our cup that provision sure. you know um, even um, of our destiny is in him amen amen he amen. maintained a lot um we you, you know how many times the enemy would, would have taken us out oh <laughs> <laughs> praise god anybody got a testimony <laughs> tonight <laughs> of, of, you know the, the enemy will yeah. gone in for you but yes, god man. ensure that you your lot would remain amen. ensure that you would not be taken out before mm. time amen, amen. that's amen. the god he said the psalm describes a dynamic relationship between the psalmist and god mm. and and look at um some of the actions the psalmist takes in the relationship so one he puts his trust mm. in the lord mm. so so we recognize he said um preserve me O god why for in you i put my trust. trust he puts yeah. his trust in god then he declares the lord um is his god he said that you are my, my god, god. Yeah. he also talks about um that he would refrain from certain things certain yeah. things yes yeah so so talk a little about that you know there's a relationship as believers yeah. as the psalmist is showing that there's a relationship that's why he's in constant communication with god yeah mm -hmm. and 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 okay, Arthur said that those whom you love, mm. you are so careful not to hurt them. Yeah, 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 because yeah. they, I mean, they're the one that you um, love and, and, and show okay, affection, yeah. right? And and so exactly that's what the okay, Psalms here is okay, referring mm -hmm. to. I mean, it's when you love the Lord, that's and, right. and and when all of your 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 life and emotion and time is spent worshiping the Lord and for what He has done for us. Yeah then how can we hurt him that's right, right. that's right that's yeah, right you know how can we hurt him and so mm -hmm. that plays a demand on us my friend mm -hmm. to be faithful yeah yes you know to absolutely. be faithful to him Amen. absolutely Amen. and and in terms of the more time like for example let's say you and i mm -hmm. if you and i were to spend more time together yeah. i am sure we're gonna learn some additional stuff about mm -hmm. each other that's right. and that's we're right. not gonna uh, uh, there's gonna come a time i might even finish your sentence yeah or mm -hmm. vice versa that's right uh you might walk yeah. uh, you might it's like dancing yeah you know eventually you're not gonna be stepping on your partner's that's toes right. yeah <laughs> you, you you know you understand and i think when we're in that deep relationship that constant mm -hmm. communing with god, god. and yes. we, we get to learn yes his do's and don'ts and yeah. you know he uh, listen he's gonna see us, our weakness yeah. but he's gonna be there to help us to correct it so that's that right. we we mm -hmm. build on that relationship that's, right. that, that's how i see it and, and that's why right, you know yeah. um, god is faithful my friend amen what i see in this passage also the laws of reciprocity yeah. activated mm -hmm. so yes. the, the, the psalmist as he writes this he say i put my trust in the lord mm -hmm. he said i declare that he is my god, god. Yeah. and he said i refrain from certain things so this what he's declaring but we see that god also um, takes action right so we see what what does the lord provide he provides 
security. Security. Yep. It provides security for, for him in this passage also. We see that the Lord um, giving a delightful inheritance. You are my portion of, of my inheritance. Yep. So we see that God gives security. He's given a delightful inheritance. But we see that God has also given counsel. Counsel. He's yes. given counsel. Praise God. <laughs> we, we see that also um, the Lord is remaining at the right the hand. Right hand. He's got not it. abandoning no. in death. Exactly. Praise God. And he's making known the paths of life. Yep. The laws of reciprocity. When we put our trust and confidence, talk a little about that yeah. in God. Um, it's not for naught. No. It's no, not for naught. No, no, no. And 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 here is one of trust and dependency <clears throat> on God. The Lord will graciously make good on what He promised. Yes, right. yes. Amen. He, he He would never leave us hang out to dry up, yeah, so to right. speak. That right? That's right. He, um, he's gonna because His character mm -hmm. is at um, the play here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And 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 so I mean we could stake all our lives, my friend. Mm -hmm. on his character on his word on his promise his yeah. character has proven that he is faithful that's right that's so the right. bible says he's our counsel mm -hmm. that's right you want counsel it's, it's like a lawyer a lawyer yeah, normally right. is what to call okay <laughs> <laughs> okay my counsel why yeah because mm -hmm. then you're going to turn to him for advice yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right he's defending you he's defending you yeah. yes. i mean for advice that defending. you would not know that's yes. correct mm -hmm. you know and and that's what i mean god is to us my friends so when god give you sweet counsel then the psalmist here is encouraging us to take it yeah yeah when you hear the word counsel what comes to mind for, for you um uh, uh, it, it comes to mind the the advice the setting of of uh of right things mm -hmm. uh the, mm -hmm. the guidance that yeah. he's going to give you mm -hmm. Uh, you know, he'll tell you, okay, down there, don't make a left, mm -hmm. go right. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes, he, yeah. he'll be there yeah. to guide you throughout your life, yeah. is what I, you know, yeah. he's there in every aspect. Yeah. Uh, if, it, if it's to be a better husband, he's yeah. there. Mm -hmm. If it's to be a better father, he'll be there. Yeah. Yes. If it's to be a better wife, he'll mm -hmm. be there. That's right. A better friend, he will be there. Yeah. It's just that. You know once you build that relationship he's always yeah. going to be there he's going to protect you mm -hmm. he, he's going to see the enemy before you see the enemy that's right of that's course. right yes. you know so it's just so awesome that how like i said the, the, how did this the, this particular describe how god will be there for us it's it's really awesome as, as i read the psalms uh, and and just um try to picture myself in the psalms yeah. i'm ex i'm seeing some feelings mm -hmm. yeah He's the psalmist is experiencing, experiencing yeah and that's what god god will come in the midst of our experiences uh -huh. yes and yes. to bring clarity for us in in, in yep. and to tell us what is the right course of course. Action, action to take yep. and you know because sometimes we experiencing some stuff folks and we don't know what to do we yep. don't show what decision to make um, um i don't know about you but in this day and age, we, we you know, especially you know, when you reach my age now, <laughs> you know, um, there's not much, you know, we can't afford to be making major mistakes at this age, my friend. Okay. Times, times again, times again. <laughs> there's not much time to recover. Uh, yeah, mistakes should have come down to a minimum. <laughs> minimum, minimum. minimum. <laughs> but, but 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 God comes in those experiences yes, yes, to yes. help us to to be able to take the right course of action. Of action you know in the middle of our experiences absolutely you know i'm not sure where you are tonight my friend but god yeah. wants to come in the middle of the experience um and isaiah the prophet say he is a wonderful counselor oh, he wants oh, to yes. come and, and and bring clarity for you as to what you ought to do in this season mm -hmm. you know and and for some of us we need to there's some probably some costs that need correction absolutely you yeah. know yeah. um he's a faithful god we have, we have probably is. made some decisions yeah. in the yeah. past yeah. You know, and God wants to instruct us in the night season, the psalm is saying. In other words, um, seasons, God, there are different seasons in That's our right. lives. That's right. You know, God wants to come in and just bring that counsel when we can't even seem to find That's the great. way to go. Yeah, and, and you know, God knows more than we do. Yes. And, and, and you know, like I made the reference, I mean, to our counsel, our earthly counsel, our lawyer, our, our um, okay, similar sister, mm. he gave us counsel because then he studied and he knows the ins and outs of the law yeah and it behooves us not to take it as advice That's because right. then 
you know, mm -hmm. we're going to be on our own. Mm -hmm. and, and, and my friend, if we are left to our own hearts, I mean, I mean to follow the, the emotions and the decisions mm -hmm. that our eyes and our heart <laughs> yes. sees, yep. we mm -hmm. will choose our own way. And, right. <laughs> and, 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 and our own way sometimes is only mm -hmm. like okay, a mirage or a delusion. That's right. But when we focus on what God, I always give the example of God is higher. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's amazing when you're higher or you see things clean. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. You see, you see, you know, but because sometimes we are in. Mm -hmm. The mix of it, it's hard to see clarity, it's hard to see clearly. That's yeah. right. That's and so right. God is from a high up and is giving direction and counsel. That's correct. What, yes. what can we ask for? And, and, and even with that counsel, based on some of the past lessons, yeah. we already know how God is going to deal with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's going to show us compassion. Yeah. Yeah. We already know how he's going to deal yeah. with us. That's yes. right. He's going to be gentle with us. Mm -hmm. What well, you know, uh, this this psalm is such a powerful psalm. I mean, yeah. we have already read this psalm many times, <laughs> but we've seen there's a relationship in our prayer lives yeah. and how God relates with relates. us. Yep. But we also seen a relationship here as to our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. it's it's more than just the prayer, nope. but there's a relationship, relationship that intimacy mm -hmm. yep. with God as He or how He He relates what He's calling. Um, um, God, as He declaring um, here, I love how He continue in verses um, five and six. He say, oh "Lord, You are my portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my Lord." Then He said, "The lines have fallen to me in place in pleasant, pleasant place. places. places. The lines have, mm -hmm. in other things, have, I'm lined up yeah. for me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good." Inheritance. inheritance. Yes. Amen. Then he said, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. Mm. My heart also instructs me in the night season. In other words, when we 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 have a relationship with God, there are benefits for that. Yes, that's right. Benefits. Yes. It's more than just um praying and bringing petition. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's more, you know, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's more than that. There's a place for petition, mm -hmm. but um God just bestow that's right. on us. He just releases that's that because of relationship. Relationship. Talk about relationship brother. Well, it, I mean, it, it, again, it's, it's just, oh, I'm just in awe as to how <laughs> the psalmist put this yeah. in his relationship mm -hmm. with God. I mean, I, I, I can, you know, I can feel the, the, the hunger mm -hmm. build up in me to, to get to that spot. Yeah. The desire, uh, as you said, the counsel, I, I mean, how how good would i feel to know that i can never do wrong as mm. long as i stay in that relationship yeah, yeah. it is just a beautiful thing it, it just sells confidence yeah. um you know happiness rejoicing i mean there's so many things coming yeah. into into my emotions yeah. as as i as i actually read this yeah. in why relationship yeah. is so important yeah. so uh, even as a man who's in relationship with god yeah. um what are some of the benefits what are some of the things you've seen god even done in your own life in terms of that well again i wish i was in that position <laughs> as the, the psalmist here mm -hmm. but i mean even in i, I believe i can do a lot more that's mm -hmm. for sure yes because I, I, I want I, I i really want to get there yeah i mm -hmm. want to i want to be the one writing this okay. i don't know in another world or whatever <laughs> but yeah. you know oh, i want to be the expression yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um i mean god has delivered so much even going through these lessons for me mm -hmm. as we do this i've had you enjoy you're, you're enjoying this journey I, I, you don't you not believe i had <laughs> such release <laughs> mentally yeah. uh, in, in, in my spirit yeah. just to know that yeah. hey there is another step yeah. or there is uh, you know you're you're not there yet there is some more journey that's ahead right. of you that's and right. the, the this is this is how god wants it to do that's to right done. That's, so it, i'm know. looking forward to it yeah. i really am uh, and then you said um, something there, Bishop, which is key, a um, relationship. Yeah. What does, how does that really affect us? That's right. In our walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. And it does, you know, because when you think about it, when you're in relationship with somebody, mm -hmm. like me, I mean, when I go on my knees, because I know I'm in relationship, when I pray, yeah. I don't have to, I, there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind That's right. that things, it's going to get yeah. done. Mm -hmm. Our God is hearing me. I know he hears me because, yeah. and, uh, I mean, I just have that feel in my heart. No, that doesn't mean 
I mean, I'm gonna get okay. I mean, all that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And and then again, you know, I mean, as you say, when you're in a relationship, sometimes it's not because if in a relationship you don't go asking your friend for stuff, stuff, stuff that's right. all the time. Yeah. That's right. That's exactly. Sometimes you just talk for talk. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about. That's yeah. 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 Speak freely yeah. and it's not formal. That's right. And 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 then for me, because I know I'm in a relationship, I have a confidence, mm -hmm. a confidence in me, a deep feel, a deep seated confidence yeah. that when I pray, God hear what I'm saying yeah, and He's right. instructing me and He's guiding me. Yeah. And I keep saying that you know the things I do, mm -hmm. sometimes God tell you to do some stuff, yeah. yep. and you don't do it. And you could tell, you could tell next uh, maybe five minutes or so, mm -hmm. you could feel um, the effect yeah. yes, of yeah. not really That's walking right. in obedience. That's right. Right. And, and this, this always served to me as yeah. said, you must listen. Yeah. You know, I've sent it to many folks and I, I think I said to you at one, at one point, as we, because you have, you have been with us from the very beginning here as a ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I need to make major faith decision mm. I told I turned to Elder Michael <laughs> <laughs> when it comes for that faith stretch mm -hmm. as to 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 lean in on God by faith I yeah. turn to you because I believe you have that gift and I believe you know the counsel that God always upon and hearing you talk about mm -hmm. you know that confidence when you you go to God you believe that because you have always spoke that into my life to let me know you know what if God said it it's gonna come to pass right. and we can yeah. rest on that yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just, and, rest on that. just rest on that you know and folks you know God God put people in our lives like that who can just have that faith to believe God yep. and we talked about there's one aspect of petition we know that we all have petition but our prayer life is not simply based on petition, no, no. where we are going to God asking. But you know what? Our prayer life is also one about relationship. relationship. We ju Amen. just talking to the Father, communing mm -hmm. with Him, yeah. just blessing Him, telling Him how wonderful mm -hmm. He is. Oh God, thank you for Your goodness. You're just yes. we, you're just awesome. awesome. You Amen. know, we, I love You. It sounds like I love You, Lord, and yeah. I yeah. lift my voice yeah. to worship yeah. You. Yeah. Oh my soul, yeah. Yeah. give You praise. Just just blessing. just blessing God just blessing, because yeah. you know what we have that relationship, relationship with him we are communion with him on an ongoing basis that's what god really wants yes. from all of us in our lives I, I i think i asked brother brown the question in terms of what are some of your own experiences of um what you see god um just bestowed upon you because of relationship with him yeah because then um if i okay think about it i mean there was one time in my life where really okay bishop i have i don't think i didn't have the confidence to mm -hmm. even speak yeah. even yep. mm -hmm. on this platform yeah there was one in my life where i think i don't have it i cannot do it mm -hmm. um i stutter and mm -hmm. all these things mm -hmm. and and god really do a work in my life yes yeah. because sometimes when i read the scripture things would re things would come to me mm -hmm. so vividly yeah. mm -hmm. and 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 i said man i gotta share this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and so really i asked the lord to give me the boldness mm -hmm. and 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 give me the courage i mean to impart or to share it mm -hmm. and 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 the lord really changed my whole mm -hmm. life yes. so to speak yeah. so sometimes i'm speaking i i totally forgot <laughs> that i have a problem yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, and because then he gave me that confidence. Yeah. No, I'm not boasting, right? Mm -hmm. But but he gave me that confidence yeah. in me that I overlook yeah, those right. um those okay um okay deficiencies. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, so you have come a long way, you know, yes. from 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 <laughs> where bless. you were years and years ago, Amen. you know, and yeah. and and it's such a joy to just sit and listen to you teach the, on yeah. the word of the Lord, yeah. and that's where God just bestowed that because yeah. relationship. Yeah. God said, you know what? Yeah. Let me just give this to him. Yes. Amen. Because he needs this in order to do the work that I've called him to. Now, um, there's, a, there's a, a powerful statement here, and we're talking about a constant remaining, so that's where we want to zero in a little on that. Verse 8, he said, I have set the Lord always before me. In other words, he said, I will keep my eyes at, at all times 
on the Lord. He said, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. I have set the Lord always before me. You know, yeah, God wants us to be intentional yep. in our practice of his yes, presence. That's right. And, and we have to be intentionally aware because, mm. and, and I think it's a transition that's again, going back from yeah. day one, when you mm. choose, when you choose to follow Christ, mm -hmm. um, there's gotta be some intentionality about mm. your attitude, about your behavior. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you, uh, you know, because you might be on fire for mm -hmm. the first five years, who knows, mm. whatever. But after that, if you were intentional, about, it will become habit, Yeah. right? Mm. It, it, you, you will purposely make sure you maintain that commune with God. Mm -hmm. You will purposely make sure you, if you have decisions to make, yeah. that you will make it known to God yeah. and he will guide you in those right decisions. Yeah. There is definitely some in, uh, intentionality about our habits that we're gonna have to adjust as we go along. Yeah. It, you can't do it any other way. That's right. Amen. I think Jesus yeah. said in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, men always ought to pray yeah. not to faint. and not to, not faint. to faint. Yeah. There's something about um, the prayer life that if we are not intentional about it, we lose it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, um, as I said before, there is so many factions mm -hmm. jostling and fighting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the soul, mm -hmm. yeah. for attention. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's the plan of the adversary to pull our heart away mm -hmm. from our Savior. Yeah. And so that's why the psalm is, is saying here is intentional about the things they do, intentional yeah. about mm -hmm. being focused yeah. on yeah. God, yeah. and mm -hmm. intentional about prayer because, and truth be told, I mean, because of the busyness of our lives, my mm -hmm. friend, the evening will come mm -hmm. and we will not spend a minute, we will not even, mm -hmm. you know, we'll pull from each side and we have no time for our Savior. Well, and I'm so sure it has I'm, to be I'm, intentional. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we have heard the statement that mm -hmm. the least attended um, function in any church mm. is the prayer meeting. <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to show up at a prayer meeting, you know. Yeah. Nobody wants to come to the altar and pray and just yeah. and, 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 and intercede, intercede yeah. because um, we have to be intentional about um, praying. Um, we cannot take it for granted. The psalmist is saying, "I will, I will set." my heart before the Lord always. I have set the Lord always before me. God wants you and I to, to um, always recognize that yeah. if we do not pray or if we fail to be intentional, something okay. else will take okay. its place. Okay. Yeah. Something will fill yeah. that gap. Friends, we want to encourage you to, tonight, and I'm not sure what your prayer life, but will you take an assessment of whether, how, what do I need to do to remain in constant um, communion with God? What is it that I need to adjust yeah. to reprioritize in my life in order that I can experience God um, communion each day? Because uh, don't reduce your prayer life to strictly... Uh, 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 a function in petition yep. hmm. always asking yep. you know it's, it's your prayer life is just simply the basis of, of asking yep. but let our prayer life also be one of relationship relationship, yep. relationship with God we are communing with God because you know what he is the lover of our soul Absolutely. we are yep. in love with him so <clears throat> we look forward to to, to being with God on an ongoing yep. basis. Praise God. Amen. And that's Amen. what God Hallelujah. wants us to do. So I encourage you tonight to be yes. intentional about your prayer life. And the psalmist wraps up from verses 9 to 11 said, Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoice. My flesh is also rest and hope. Everything that he, he declares ahead of time. Then he comes and he says, let's put a capstone on it. Yes. Therefore, my heart is it's glad. glad. Yep. Mm. Man, there's nothing like prayer to, to, yes. to, to give you some joy, some joy and to yeah. lift you up. Yeah. My friends, are you heavy burden? Uh, praise right. God. The songwriter said, tell it to God in prayer. Tell it to, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Tell it to Jesus. Tell, tell it, it to, to Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, if you are laden down, tell it to Jesus. It's empty. You know, give your friend despise and forsake you, tell it, tell to, it Jesus. to Jesus. 
prayer will bring a gladness in you will cause you to rejoice praise god Hallelujah. and then the psalmist gave a prophetic word concerning our lord and savior he said for you will not leave my soul in shore mm -hmm. nor will you allow your holy one to see corruption oh, wow. you will show me the paths of life in your presence mm -hmm. is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore my friend prayer is still the answer for the church today i know we we we, we, yeah. we think strategies hmm. and 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 and, yeah. and plans are yeah. uh, uh, what it is but i'm still one of those who believe that hmm. we cannot do even the work of ministry without prayer okay. we yeah. cannot grow Amen. we cannot see men come to know jesus <clears throat> as lord and savior without prayer i encourage you as an individual yes. as a family and even as a congregation let us remain in constant That's communion prayer. with god on an ongoing basis Amen. final word from you then we'll hear from elder and then we pray well uh, i'm still basking in this yes. awesome confidence that the psalmist has expressed here yeah. it, it really has shown me that i gotta step my game up mm -hmm. a little bit more you yeah. know yeah. Uh, because it's important and 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 the one way to get there yeah. is the constant prayer the yeah. constant communication mm -hmm. so um you know i again i'm looking forward yeah. to that making that change whatever i was doing before i need to do it a little better because I want to have, I want to get that feeling of confidence Amen. Amen. that way. Amen. Yeah, you know, um, the, as I read this Psalm, Psalm 16, and uh, it tells me that I have to adopt his okay, strategy. Yeah. yeah, I really um, love it. it, it yeah, and, and when I read it, I, I, I see it start with a relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first, it, it tells me that first you have to get into a relationship mm -hmm. I mean, a, 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 I mean, a tight knit a relationship yeah. with God, yeah. and His strategy it begins with daily conversation with mm -hmm. God, yeah. and that's how we see He develop His gifts mm -hmm. here: yeah. gifts right. of understanding, gifts of counsel, fortitude, yeah. courage, yeah. and the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's where you know when I rethink mm -hmm. my prayer life as I yeah. was doing this, I rethink my prayer life, which really causes me to mm -hmm. start to think. Yeah. And my strategy yeah. and, and how I should really improve yeah. my prior life. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and going forward, I'm saying, okay, wake up early in the morning and you start off with a yeah. prior. Yeah. And and it should be a continuous thing throughout the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. A yeah. continuous thing throughout the day. Yeah. yeah. And I think um, as you said that as I was studying of myself, the same um um take stock, so to speak. Yeah. I took stock. stock. <laughs> British <laughs> British. <laughs> yeah. uh, took stock of my prayer life and yeah. realized and found it wanting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, me too. You know, yeah, I put it, put, it, put it in the balance yeah. and it came up short, brother. Yeah, it came up. Exactly. <laughs> short. I just yeah. have that feeling. Yeah. I need to yeah. step, yeah. step yeah. it up. Yeah. I, I want to get yeah. the, I, I, can, yeah. I can just imagine how he's feeling. Yes. Yeah. And that's how I want to yeah. feel. So, yeah. Yeah. It came yeah. up, it came up oh, short. So, you know, I had to resolve you know to 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 do something about it yeah to be intentional about it to to and it's let not my prayer life just reduce to asking yeah, yeah. that's correct yeah. to petition yeah. you know because I, I, I realized my prayer life had become sloppy in that way yeah. Yeah. you know um you're praying for family you're praying for yes. yourself you're praying for church you're yeah. praying yeah. for ministry yeah. Yeah. It's, it's become sloppy yeah, yeah. you know yeah. how about just you know not getting the time your prayer life will really be based and as i said i took stock yeah. so i was weighed in the balance yeah. fun wanting yeah. and i made a resolve you know what to, 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 to go Amen. forward Amen. and yes. to yes. truly have an experience of yes. god Amen. in that divine relation my friends we encourage you tonight yes. to take stock of your prayer life if it's fun wanting make that resolve tonight mm -hmm. to you know what to say i want to develop that relationship with him we are in constant communion with him Amen. Amen. Go on and come into the Zoom room right now. We are waiting to have that conversation. We want to hear from you tonight. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us another Wednesday evening. Have a good night. Amen. God bless you.